We just like start live. We trick we trick Ian into watching Better Call Saul by making it a watch party, and Ian likes to watch our stream. I get banned so fucking quick. <laughs> no, that's no watch parties. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant on Twitch. See, you're, now you're not just in, not just uninterested. Now you're actively avoiding it because we've told you it's good. You're and like, that's toxic you're like, behavior. You're like me when people talk about that show with the dragons. Yeah, show well, Dylan, dragons. we already know you don't have fucking taste. What show with the dragons? Uh, the one that everybody likes. The guy's name's Jon Snow. Game of Thrones. Yeah, that okay. one. <laughs> We are we are literally trying to force you right now. We are literally trying to force you. I'm not trying to force you. I was just trying to come up with a sneaky way. We're, we're like joking about like devious methods of which we could like trick you into watching it, and you'd be like fully capable of like removing yourself from the situation anytime. That's not forcing. A forcing would be tying you to a chair and making you watch it. Girl boss ga gaslight gatekeep. You're gatekeeping your eyes from the best television show to ever grace the small screen. I have to change the ticker. So Dude. there. Get wrecked. Fax and I'll do it again. I'm gonna keep it as the ultimate wall. If you liked Breaking Bad, then why would you not watch Better wait, Call what? Saul? It's even better than Breaking Bad. At you, least wait, Dylan... you watched Breaking Bad and you're not watching Saul? At least Dylan has the excuse if he doesn't even know how good Breaking Bad is. You don't care because you haven't watched it. Oh, only you can press A. <laughs> That's like, t like, if you recommended an anime to me, and I was like, I've never seen it, so I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, Breaking Bad ended a decade ago. Better Call Saul ended like four weeks ago. God, it really has only been like a month. That's crazy. That is that is that is the most whack circular ar like logic argument I've ever heard in my life. But now you're just not gonna watch it out of spite, even if we're right. I mean, I, there I, are other reasons to not watch Boruto, like how it's not the best anime ever made. Boruto... Like, trying to compare Boruto <laughs> to Better Call Saul is bad, because A, <laughs> it's, like, a, fucked up. it's sequel versus prequel, and one is the best show ever, and the other is a trash-tier anime. Two players, please. I mean, I, like, <laughs> regardless, Better Call Saul... Two players, please. <laughs> oh, I have to select it. <laughs> Better Call Saul is better than Breaking Bad, but Boruto is... Not better question mark than Naruto? Okay, it's not just about Saul though. It's not, it's about Mike, it's about Gus, it's about characters you haven't even met yet. Grand Prix. Saying that Boruto is on par with OG Naruto is actively saying Naruto is bad. What? How could you not care about Mike? He's like the best character what in the character show. What character did you care about? Please don't tell me it was like fucking Walter. I mean, yeah, Naruto is bad. How do you read chat and play this game, dude? <laughs> like, what? You... I can't see at all! <laughs> the chat is just covering my screen yeah, entirely! Yeah, this is a little fucked up. That's not gonna work, actually. <laughs> and then you killed me?! None? Okay, you can't even say you didn't like Jesse. What the fuck? Everybody- Nicholas. Hey, you did yeah, I was the one intruded upon, in my opinion. I was in front of you! Yeah, but I was going faster. God, I can't play. <laughs> Saying this to spite Faye? What did you say? The, the whole argument is spite now. What did you say? Did you say that Naruto was good or something? Because I'm confused. Of course you like Jesse, everyone like Jesse. Okay! Jesse shows up in Better Call Saul. He's an important character. Did you watch El Camino? God, please tell me you watched El Camino. That shit was so good. Uh, on the statement that was intended to spite you, so it blocks your screen. Nope. 
I'm gonna... You didn't even watch El Camino, but you cared about fucking Jesse? That's bullshit. You can't say you cared about Jesse and then you didn't watch the follow-up movie that's only about Jesse. You're, uh, whoa. What if I, like, put it here? Oh, so at least now it, like, affects it's, you as well? Yeah, it's, like, at least evenly split. Yeah, that was fucked up. I literally could not see at yeah, all. Yeah, that was- uh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, what do I do about <laughs> this, bud? Excuse me? Your uncle had an El Camino. High H- wait. It was high HP with NOS. Also had- oh, what we're is, talking about a car. What is NOS? I thought you were talking about, like, Boruto or something. Yeah. Nice. Ability to care about fictional characters, not contingent on consuming all media they are in. How do you okay. ever decide to watch anything? Like, like, what gives you any impetus to watch anything? Like, is, is it literally just like a random whim? It looks interesting. Bro, how does Better Call Saul not look interesting? Did you think Breaking Bad looked interesting? Because if you thought Breaking Bad looked interesting, but Better Call Saul doesn't, that's like... That's, you're, that's, I was about to say hypochondria. That's a hypocritical. I mean, to be fair, they are shot a little differently. Yeah, Better Call Saul shot better. I have... I go back and forth on that. For the, okay, not... Okay. I go back and forth on that. Cinematography-wise, like... It's arguable, but like obviously they used like film, so it does look a little nicer. If your tastes have changed, does that mean you hate Breaking Bad now? Why is the game lagging? That was that was a good observation. <laughs> Me! How are you going faster? Me! Me, I went downhill. Not uh, really, but I probably wouldn't watch it start to finish now. That's okay, you could just watch Better Call Saul. It's better anyway. With the chappy, like, I'm keeping it in the middle, but would it be better if it was, like, at the bottom of the screen? Uh, I, I, at this point, I don't care. Like... I'm, I'm able to read it, and I can also see my screen uh, mostly, so I'm happy. I'm about to get hot pepper. Hey, you are a bitch. <laughs> Call me bitch, that's a pretty bad reference. <laughs> <laughs> bitch! <laughs> what does this jelly do? That's a, a defensive move. Oh. Why, why is the game, like, shitting bricks right now? I can't. Why do you care if I watch the show or not? Does me watching it affect your enjoyment? No, but I feel bad that you haven't seen the best show ever. Because, like, you deserve to see the best show ever. Yeah, it's not that we're upset that you haven't seen it. It's that we're, we're, we're sad that you've resigned yourself to never seeing it. Like, like, the door's not even open. It's just like, nope, never. It's not even, like, maybe. Oh my god, this game. It was like a hard no. <gasps> Thought I just murdered myself, bro. No, Ooh. you put a sign to it. Centered. Yeah, it's centered like the widget is centered, but the actual chat isn't. Yo, let's go. Do bad things, and that would make him sad. Everyone's hated the night. I kind of love it. I don't think Dylan even gave Breaking Bad a fucking chance. Did you? Dylan said he'd watch Breaking Bad if he like he watched it with me or like with someone. But like not because of the show, but just because it'd be like a good reason to hang out. I mean that's what we did over fucking quarantine. We literally just sat here with it on while we played fucking Animal Crossing. 
Season one is definitively the worst season of Breaking Bad. I'm not gonna say it's bad and it gets better later. It's just like, season one is not extraordinary in any way. It's like a very average TV show. Yeah, like they, they didn't know that it was gonna like pop off, you know? It's Mike it. The, the night Taylor got arrested? Were you watching it at my house then? But like, you watched that, this, that was so long. That was like 2015. I don't even think Breaking Bad was done then. Like, much less Better Call Saul starting. I should have saved that. God damn it, Nick. <laughs> oh my god, that's so long ago. No! Why did it roll me off like that? I don't understand this video game. You just roll. Sure. <laughs> just go. Wait, did, who won last time? I didn't notice. Did I win? I won. You won? Oh, shit. Well, clearly you understand the video game. Okay, but like, <laughs> it doesn't work in my favor. Fuck! Oh my god, that was so long ago. Excuse you. Probably more time has passed since he got arrested than I ever knew him total at this point. I like to forget that he existed. I, I wish it was that easy. But I, I have like- some people it is. I have, by fucking pure coincidence, run into him around town randomly like five times now. He used to come into the Domino's that I worked at. Like, we never spoke. He works really close from here. Yeah, he his, his the place he works is really close by. Which is probably like part of the reason I keep coincidentally running into him. Yeah, he used to come to the Domino's I worked at. I mean... I just try to avoid him existing it, but like it's very difficult when he's standing right in front of me. Fortunately, I don't think he recognized me, and I was like, let's fucking go, I don't have to talk to you. I've seen him in a food line, and I've seen him at a Home Depot, and I've seen him on like the sidewalk. Is it the food line that's like... Yes. Okay. Like the one right there. The one between your house and my parents' house? Yeah. Fuck you, CPU1, little bitch. I'm, so, uh, the reason I was asking about Saul is because I've been watching a bunch of, like, Breaking Bad and Saul, like, video essays lately. It hit, because, the, it hit the zeitgeist again. Well, yeah, everyone's been talking about it since the show's ended. Like, it's been a big hot topic, and my YouTube recommended is like, hey, we know that you're going to watch this because you've watched a hundred other ones that were 30 hours long. Yeah, now you're, like, trapped in the loop. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow too. Fucking lows. I also. I hate Mondays. Mondays but at I... my job are not that bad. Now that summer's over. What well, was? Is it just more busy there in the summer? Oh yeah. Damn. You sent me the thumbnail. I don't- I just don't know enough Dragon Ball. I feel like I've heard that from a lot of people, but I just- I don't have anything to go off of. For what? Uh, Ian got recommended a two-hour video essay on why Dragon Ball Super sucks, apparently. I've heard that from some people, but not everyone. I've- I've heard- I've been- I've heard a lot of people say it sucks, but I've also seen it be, like, very popular and people just talk- continue to talk about it. But like maybe it's just Dragon Ball, so like it's it's unkill like it can't fail technically. Oh god. What does drill do? Uh you can you drill underground and you can pop up underneath. To, like come back up. That's lame as fuck. Yeah, the, That's the, the worst ability I've ever seen in this game. The the pepper continues to be the best one, in my opinion. I like the spike. I hate the spike. I like the spike and I like the stone. Like, it, it's one of those intellectual properties that's like too big to fail. Like, they could release anything and it would just do fine. And, th and that doesn't mean like everything that is that big is bad. It's just like, it doesn't have to be good either <laughs> to do well.
Overtime. Overtime. No! I was trying to hit you with the fireball, but because you were in first, the fucking thing picked me up. <laughs> oh, like, no. I shot at you, and it just grabbed me right out of my fucking fireball. I don't know. Objectively, of the things I've seen Dragon Ball-wise, it's only okay. I think it was just, like, one of the first big anime. I mean, it was, like, the, the shonen that, like, set all the tropes that all of them follow now. Yeah, and we just lost to a computer. I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm, like, very casually playing right now. It's it, real, this game is really hard to play and read chat. Agreed. I didn't realize it was going to be so hard. I'm yelling, so I'm stronger. Yeah, both of those things. Also, like, I think it had the, the first, like, major tournament arc. It, it was, like, one of the first things where, like, the blue and the red beam are, like, balancing each other out, and they're pushing back and forth, and oh no, who's gonna win? What the actual fuck? Yeah? Alright. This, this game does not make sense, bro. Let's go. You can't. <laughs> Why can't I'm you holding go? forward and the game's like, you want to go over here? You want to go over here? I want over here. Well, it's got ball physics. Which is stupid. But they're balls. Well, fuck you too. Beam struggle. Is that is that what the term is? I remember like... I'm, I'm not gonna like... This, this I am not saving this to credit JK Rowling with anything, because like... It's not a good ending, but the ending in, like, the last Harry Potter book was, like, really fucked up in the movie, and they made it, like, worse than it was. Because, like, there was a specific thing where, like, he, like, Voldemort shot the killing curse, and then Harry disarmed him, and, like, the wand flew through the air, and it, like, reflected back at him. But then in the movie, they just turned it into, like, a, like, a beam struggle, and then he just dissolved into paper, and it was, like, really fucking lame. That was, that was like, like the, the first time, time I got like mad at like as a kid, I got mad about like an adaption of like a book. I've never done that. Gotten mad at like a movie adaption of a book. Yeah. They, they fucked it up. Like. I mean, yeah, I just expect them to fuck it up. Like. Oh, your expectations are just that low. If if it's a movie I'm going to see and I've already read the book, I always expect the movie to be bad. <laughs> he asked calmly. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that will never not be funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't I like I I think the I think the movies in general got worse as they went on for the most part. Like the first 3 were really like good movies. And then after that, they kind of started to suck. Interesting that you would use the term good. No, I'm just kidding. I like the... I like the... It, it was... Here's my thing. It was the direction. The books are like... Like, aging. Right? Yeah, like, they're, they're they actually bad. aged with you. Right? So, like, as you grew older, they got more interesting because... Like, they also got more serious, right? E yeah. Whereas, like, the movies, we aged, but the they didn't actually age the, them. Like, they were all for the same age, I feel like. It's like how Monsters University came out the fucking year I start went to college. It was like, whoa. That's weird. She didn't even do that well, honestly. The, like, it's most of the reasons I like the movies are from the direction and like the soundtrack and like the aesthetics that like set producers came up with, and not like the plot or the characters. Like, I like the visuals of the castle. I like the visuals of Hogsmeade. I like the John Williams music that they stopped using after the third movie because, like, all whimsy was gone. British.
Those games are actually very good. Those like old, the, the old old ones for like the first two movies. I really enjoyed the Half Blood Prince game on the Xbox 360. Never, I, I never played it. What was it like? Oh my God, please. Um, it was just like the fucking books, but in a game. I, I remember know, the I Deathly Hollows game with like fucking Call of Duty, but with wands. Don't kill me! Oh. Oh my God, I literally got knocked off at the last second. Going after you in first place, and the CPU was like, Hey, I see you're in last. Would you like to be further in last? I see you're, I, I see you're down. Would you like to be kicked as well? What the fuck is on that blue one? It's just like a <laughs> sticker of an anime girl. <laughs> it's a mask of Susie who's a robot. Oh my god, I almost got so close. You really like almost had a comeback with the bonus stars. Yeah, I've been trying to play towards them. I was getting all the like berries the fruit, I could, the... and I was I float whenever I'm not gonna make it. Oh, uh, custard pudding, be good. I kind of want to change my costume. Nice. Well, it's uh uh. I almost said Jacks. That is that it. <laughs> it's Marks. Marks. <laughs> Jack. Good old Carl. How could I forget about you? Change costume. <clears throat> I will be. I will be. Hey Gabe. Hi Gabe, you it's... missed most of the stream already. Yeah, it's it's been an angry, bitter stream. <laughs> We've been yelling screaming. at each other about our terrible takes. Except for when we were all yelling in agreement about how awful the government is. It's been spicy. Kristen was here earlier but went to bed. Yeah, she's a loser. Whoa! That's oh, my, yeah, Ian that's my wife banned. you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going to bed at 10 o'clock in the evening. Could not be me. I mean, to be fair, she's had to wake up at like six o'clock recently every day. Well, not anymore. Yeah, not Wait. not for not for like another month. The more what I think I back be? to Harry Potter, the more I dislike it and wish. Pen dragon, what? The chat is gone from the screen now. My workout would be so. My work would uh, be so pissed if I went to bed at ten p.m. Pen dragon. Oh, pen dragon. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Aragon. No, Pendragon um, was very good, and was like sadly overlooked. It's upsetting, like honestly, how much um, Pendragon was overlooked. They never even gave it a movie. I think they were going to at some point, but it just got like got soft canceled. I like that. Yeah, I mean that's the color that's supposed to match that costume. Uh, play again. Oh, do you, did you want to change yours? I think it's oh, like I random. Can. It's random, oh, but like we can mash got... we can mash the button until you get one you like. I thought I always got whichever one you just took off. Nah. I'm happy with this one. Okay. These guys are neat. I always like it when they zap me and I die. Warriors was Warriors is good, the first series, but it could have like it could have spun out of control really badly if they like adapted that. Is Warriors the cat books? Yeah. Cause they they fucking like there there's like fourteen spinoffs. Ah oh, fuck! Did you get that? No, you got it. I was gonna say you motherfucker. After this, I gotta check my phone really quick. Yeah. Um, I don't. I, I never read Ranger's Apprentice. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't read until I was an adult. I read way more as a kid. And now I just read manga. I wish I was in the habit of reading more. I've been reading uh, Demon Slayer. Oh, the second series was good. I um, I had to put Demon Slayer down at work because I was about to cry. Septimus Heap. That sounds really familiar. What, what Was it like The Magician? Septimus Heap The Magician? I think I did read that actually. Oh my god, did I read that? If I did, I don't think I read the whole series, but I, I think I read, like, at least one of the books and liked it. You read Demon you Slayer? You only give Demon years. Slayer a 7 out of 10? That's crazy. That's what Zack said today, too, if, if you were to give it a numeric score. Damn, the ending must really suck, because... Holy shit. Yakub and Zack were talking about it in the vaguest term possible to not possible to not spoil me and all they would say was boss baby and i don't like i couldn't possibly figure out what it meant
I mean, I don't think I per like connect with any of the characters. It's kind of hard to. They live in like a very different world. I feel like. If anyone, I relate to the fact that I'm a big fucking crybaby like Zenetsu. But I'm not a bitch. I've never heard of that one, Dylan. Dylan, you might you might you might be the one person that I feel like might have had a chance of reading this. In middle school, I read a series. It was about like a like a like a caveman boy, and he like had he was, he was bonded with a wolf, and it was like the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness or something like that. Does that ring any bell at all? Okay, video game. Thanks for just not accepting my jump button. That's cool. Damn. There it is. Oh. Not no bells were. Could you actually like? Could you could you do me a favor and could someone Google like Chronicles of Ancient Darkness and see if I'm like making this up in my mind or if this really existed? Because like I can't remember like any details. I got um. What is that book called? What is that book called? Um, Artemis Fell. Well, I they, read one of those. Yeah, I. It was a series that I regretted not reading as a kid. It was always like the book that other kids were reading, and I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna look into that later. Um. What was I talking about? Artemis Fell. Yeah, I, I always wanted to read them as a kid, but I never got around to it. And then I heard they were making a movie, and I was like, I'm gonna check it out finally. And I read the first book, and I really liked it. Um, and then I read the second one, and it was really good. Um, I mean, like, you know, for for a book aimed at, like, fifth graders. Um, and then the movie came out, and it, like, like absolutely shit the bed in such a way that it was, like, ex it was bad. It was, like, well known for being, like, a bad movie. It was awful. It was like randomly mm -hmm. dropped on Disney Plus during the pandemic. There's no way that just fucking hit me, dude. What the shockwave? God Did fucking shockwave? damn it! Yes, it was a shockwave. Damn. Dude, I swear I got two power ups that whole time, and one of them was because I died. I like the Hunger Games, but um, I thought each book was just a little worse than the last one. Yeah, I agree with that. But I don't think any of them were like bad. The 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 movies were, were a different story. Wow, those 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 bonus stars were like out to fucking get me. They were like targeted. M winning you. the mini games was one of them, and fucking most abilities used was another one, and I literally only <laughs> got two. Abilities during that final one. I did read recently. I read it like two years ago. I think during 2020, there was a what? hunger. There was a Hunger Games prequel, um, that's about President Snow when he was young. It was way better than any of the Hunger Games books. Oh, it was really good. Never read Game of Thrones. Never watched Game of Thrones. I did read the Hunger Games, but I agree that they kind of went like downhill. Well, I like the first one, like pretty much and then the second one i think holds up to that and then i think in the third one it kind of goes downhill i don't think the third one was bad i just don't think it was nearly as good as the other ones but i think the movies definitely got worse all got worse you can't write winds of winter because he's like texting miyazaki to put more turtles in the game Miyazaki's like, hey, let's collaborate on a game, and he's like, have you read Berserk? You should, you should, you should, you should make a game like that. I gotta read those Berserk chapters. I read me. more Berserk than I had after playing Elden Ring, and it's like even more like, holy shit, this this is really where that came from, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him, but, like, still. It's kind of just funny at this point. I think all the people that were upset about Winds of Winter not coming out have, like, moved on to Acceptance. And, like, if it does, it would be a nice surprise. I think he will never release it because then people will just get mad. 
Like, it, people the, wouldn't the even be big. thankful that it came out. They would just be mad at him because it didn't end, like, perfectly or whatever. The hype is, like, And then, big. like... And then he would just be like, oh, why did I even bother? It's like how Valve, like, even if they wanted to, could not release Half-Life 3 now. They just can't. They, they could they can make other Half-Life games and not call them Half-Life 3, like with Alex, but they can't make a game called Half-Life 3. They just can't. Everyone saw what happened with Duke Nukem Forever. I, I have played this game a lot. I've, I've played this game a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I did really good the first round we played, and then after that I kinda Which had... Which is funny, because that was the one your screen was blocked on. Yeah, well, it's because I could... I had to only focus on the game. Right? I just ignored chat for that one, because I was like, wow, I have to really be able to focus, because I can only see half my screen. Uh, whereas <laughs> now, that chat is very far away from my screen. It's like you can see too much. I have to look really far away to read chat and when I'm reading chat I'm effectively not looking at the game at all is was doom 2016 like announced long before it came out was it just like there's another doom coming after doom 3 and it just took forever it's like I'm starting to get like sweaty about Metroid Prime 4 now like what the fuck's going on with that I am I am stuck there we go No fucking way that just happened to me, dude. I'm so livid. <laughs> fucking stupid ass computer just came out of nowhere and pushed me off the fucking side of the stage. And then when I was trying to recover, you went and got the fucking berry. The computer was belligerent. I want to fuck this game, dude. <laughs> I have won before by, by like, losing the race and just going for, like, the berries and the five stacks and then just hovering in the air to get the hover, like bonus star at the end like cover your base like you're like it, it's just a ball just roll around <laughs> and then i hold forward and my character literally rolls around in fucking circles and i'm like what is happening because dude? of the curvature of the environment yeah sure <laughs> it, it, that makes it, fucking it, it, sense it does like these donuts have shapes you have shapes. and you're rolling in the donut you get gotta get lost in the nut sometimes don't you fucking hit me and then take the fucking <laughs> item god um, why is there just a Gordo over here, dude? I just keep running into the Gordo because these physics make no goddamn sense, bro. You just bro. gotta roll. You. <laughs> you roll, bitch. So why you just roll? Jesse, we need to roll. <laughs> ah! <laughs> is there a hole in the floor? A big fort came and took some of the cake. Yo, Dylan, you're a Post Malone fan. Did you see the Post Malone fall on stage? Why'd he fall? Uh, so part of- Dude, CPU 2! I am in third place! What are you doing with your life, bro? <laughs> ah, out to fucking get me. Where are you at? You were waiting for me to unjelly. I sure was. Do I get bonus stars? Nope. Yo. Uh, so, okay, part of his show, part of the, the stage, like, collapses inward for oh, him shit. to, like, get stuff out. Oh, on purpose, okay. Um, and then, uh, it was supposed to open back up by the time the next song started, but it didn't. Uh, and then he was singing his song, and he thought that it was closed, and he went to step over it, and he just fell. And, like, really hurt himself. Oh, man, He had to really? stop the rest of the show. I... I'm still like not over the fact that he released like a like a fucking officially licensed Pokemon song that's extremely explicit. I didn't know about that. There was like a whole album for the Pokemon 25th anniversary that has all these random weird artists on it. Huh. It's it's really weird. I think it's funny that he's like really into magic. Is he? Yeah, he he's been on like a couple magic streams recently. This music is from Kirby Tilt and Tumble. His song that features Ozzy is the whole reason I bought that album on uh, vinyl. Ozzy Osbourne? Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. The whole reason I bought the album on vinyl was because I was like, dude, he's Ozzy's literally never gonna show up on another Isn't album. Isn't he like 90? 
Like, I literally was like, this is gonna be the last time that Ozzy's ever on a fucking album, and I'm buying it. Like, he's still alive right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, the song goes hard. You like it? Yeah, the, uh, other songs on the album are really good, too. That's the album that the Spider-Man song's on. Oh, the, uh, Sunflower? Yeah. It's a, that's a really good song, but I don't really get how it connects with the movie. Just, just his hype song. Please, no. You fucking little bitch, I swear <laughs> to fucking fuck! Like it? No, I don't. <laughs> it's not very cash money of you, Nicholas. I'm sorry. No, give me. God damn it. Move back to the UK. The US is a shit show. Oh, didn't, uh, what's his name, the lead singer for Green Day do that too? The guy that wrote American Idiot? Oh, wait. Yeah, was it him? I think it was him. Billy Joe Armstrong? Sure, I don't fucking know. M Mr. Green? Mr. Green? You know, Seth Green, the frontman of Green Day? I don't remember which one Seth Green is. I almost did the... There's, like, none spawning. There we go. I almost did the fucking, the guy, the laugh. The ha <laughs> that's not Seth Green though. That's, that's Seth, Seth, Seth Rogen. Oh, yeah, that's um, that's Donkey Kong. <laughs> I like how you knew what I was talking about just from that laugh. Though. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. I, I, now, now oh. I feel pressured and on the spot. Oh. Uh, oh. No, I can't even do it. I now. can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm, I'm thinking too hard about it. What's when up? it was, when it was all I could think about, then it was like easy, you know. Seth Green was the villain in the second live-action Scooby-Doo movie. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah, John J Jacob Jacoby or whatever. John That's Jacob literally his name. Smith. It's like John Jacob Jacoby. I thought you were saying that the live-action Scooby-Doo was terrible, and I was about to fucking fight you. I've never seen the second one. I've only seen the first one. We need one. to fix that. It's good? They are both very good. I love the first one. I, it's yeah. just pure coincidence I've never seen the second one. Hey, Nick. Perish. Aw, oh, damn. Perish? Wouldn't that have been so cool, though? Did you try and pump me off the side? I, try, I tried to, like, line up to where you were coming up the thing so I could just immediately push you off. Like, the jelly here. What movie are you talking about? Mar the Mario movie is gonna suck? Is oh, for sure. I, I'm i so, like, what the- I don't- I don't know. Like, I would have more faith in the project if it if it wasn't- Damn, you, you got both of them. Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! You got both those raspberries? You're gonna win with the bonus stars now? No! I would, I would be, I have more faith in this project if, um, if it wasn't Illumination. That's the people who make the minions, right? Yeah. Yep. I don't Still know if you've noticed first. by now, but the most common bonus star in the game is Raspberries. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, by far. Wait, you think the second is better than the second? What? What the fuck are we talking about? Minion slash Mario crossover win. No, Yo, my brain almost really said they did that already. It's rabbits. called Rabbits, but I forgot that those aren't Minions. Well, through Mario, the Rabbits and Minions will have one degree of separation. That's very dangerous. What the- I just died to the fucking tree? Yeah. Bro, Wispy has been fucking me over for centuries. <laughs> also, centuries. Since when does the fuck? Yeah, that was a tree joke. Uh. Wait, did rabbits come first? The Mario? No, then uh, minions. Oh, rabbits are old as fuck. Absolutely. Oh, wasn't like Raymond raving rabbits like on the Wii in two thousand eight? Yeah, the rabbits are really old. I remember. I remember playing that game. I a lot, remember actually. interacting with rabbit things before I was even like. Living in North Carolina, or yeah, North the first Carolina. Rabbids game you still played as Raymond, like yeah. he was still the lead for sure. And now he's like exiled to the nether, like they killed him. I don't think he's so. Dead too. The, what, what, what determines overtime? This is that happens sometimes. I, I haven't figured that out yet. That's the one thing in this game that's so kind of a mystery to me, to be honest. Triple wheel, bro. What the fuck? The first Rabbids game came out during that weird period where they were releasing Wii games, but they were also releasing, like, PS2 games. I don't so get points for the fact that I killed you at the last second. That's lame. If I had- if I- did I die? I killed you and someone else with literally oh, a millisecond shit. left. 2006. Yeah, that's when- that's what we launch. 
Not me. I, I just remember the, the first Rayman Raving Rabbits game had like a rhythm game component to it and the, the, the hardest song in the game was Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. And it was like the most simple rhythm game ever. It's like, shake the Wii remote, now shake the nunchuck. Cindy Lauper goes hard. Anybody throws shade at Cindy Lauper, you have to fight me, IRL. I can never stream that game because it has that song in it. Thank God you're not a YouTube streamer. You can't stream half the games in the world as a YouTube streamer because even when I streamed Final Fantasy XIV, YouTube was like, hey, that music's copyright. Apparently, like with certain games too, Square Enix in particular will not let you post the ending to YouTube. Like, they'll just nuke the video. Hmm. They've done it. They did it with, like, Secrets of Mana. I know it's, like, a thing with Live Alive, so that's going to be an issue. I think Final Fantasy VII Remake had that. I th oh, you can't stream, like, the last third of Dragon Quest XI. Or, like, post it to YouTube, I mean. That's crazy. Uh, that happened to... M not that, but, like, the, the music being, like, muted also happened to me when I played Mass Effect. I was really surprised. Really? Yeah. I hear a lot of talk about, like, Twitch possibly dying because it keeps getting worse, but, like... Oof, it's been having a lot of shit going on lately. But, like, if the alternative is YouTube, is that is that really, like, that much better? Uh, YouTube actually just had a big, like, policy update that was pretty good. Really? Uh, yeah, they actually made, like... You can... You can use licensed music in shorts now. And they added more, like, they actually added ad revenue to shorts. Specifically shorts. Dude. The ad revenue for shorts is a good thing, because that's like the one thing that gets us views sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, chat, I haven't read chat since we started talking about rabbits. There, there hasn't been much. 2006 was the first game in the rabbit spin-off series, but they existed prior to 2006. What did they exist in prior to 2006? Rayman game. They were in like Rayman platformer games? Oh, I think so, right? I thought they were entirely unique to the Raving Rabbit series. I don't know. I think with the... I agree that for the next, like, five years, they're still having it, but... After those five years, there's a huge chance that they just fucking disappear. I mean, that's, like, with current trajectory, though. Like, anything can happen. They have a lot to make up for. I mean, they've been really fucking sucking lately. It, th it seems like a lot of a lot of Twitch has just turned into like famous people drama soap opera shit now. Matt Gates is officially a Twitch streamer. That's fucked up. I hate that. I've never gotten that ability during a race before. That's wild. Which one? The like invincibility star. Oh, I didn't even know that was the thing. Like, there's always oh, it's always like I'm reacting to this person reacting to this terrible thing that happened. Like, I hate that shit. It just, it's, it's, it feels like Kardashians for the new age at that point. It's like modern Kardashians. Unless YouTube gets a prime equivalent, which will rain a good amount of viewership. I'm gonna look up Matt Gates, switch username to ban him. Thank you. It is real Matt Gates, I believe. Hey, if you wanna, like, ban anyone else, too, like, if you wanna ban, like, Donald Trump or something from our Twitch channel. Please ban Ninja. Go ahead and ban XQC. Whoa! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hashtag not my juicer. I don't know what that means. That's the XQC thing. What is it? XQC is the juicer. Uh oh, I thought he was like, this isn't the guy that I buy my like steroids from. No. <laughs> Holy shit, okay, the drill ability apparently is good if you're a big ass motherfucker. It gets bigger with your body. Size up. Puberty be like, size up. Ooh. I got really round before I got, like, taller. And then it, like, all stretched over me when I grew tall. Oh, you fucking bitch. Ew. Fucking the, the all-white Kirby that's fighting us right now. Get away 
it for me. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha, you bitch. I was stuck. You yeah. fell right into my trap card. XQC and Gates have now been banned. <laughs> Reason white. <laughs> All right. Yikes. All right. Careful with the C word. We'll get banned for that one. Oh, like the the, the, word, the word that comes after Graham. Yeah. I got no bonus stars that time. I'm set. I don't want to play anymore. Are you done? I have consistently come in third place six games in a row now. At least it's not. At least it's not four. I, is it though? <laughs> Look, at Whoa! <laughs> Look at him. Whoa! Look at him. Look at him. He worked hard for that. Oh, yeah. God, anchor <laughs> arms DDD. That's crazy, bro. That's now I'm a jerk and everybody loves me. <laughs> That's a clip. Hold on. <laughs> How do I clip from this fucking dashboard? Hey, someone clip that for me. It's the one thing I can't do from this dashboard, apparently. Clip usually happens if you mouse over that. Yeah, clip is right. Mm. Or you can click Alt plus X. I got about blank. Cool. The DD, yeah. yeah. I that you saying anchor arms to that was really funny to me. It, it literally looks like anchor arms DD. Whoa, you don't gotta don't play back. To mute. Don't forget to mute them. Um, bam! I'm just gonna do that. I got anchor arms, and everybody, everybody loves, loves me. me. You seem really confident in your clipping skills with it muted and paused. I'm not. I'm just, like, basically gonna get the max. Hmm. I got it. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Clipping? Did someone say clipping? Let me just get all up in the clipping. That was really funny. That's the first boss in one of the Kirby games is, is like, Anchor Arms DDD. Rip headphone users, by the way. My bad, guys. What happened? Oh, I said clipping, and then I put the mic, like, in my mouth and was like, clipping? What's clipping? Uh, but you're done. You know, audio jokes. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 11 o'clock. I'm already missing the new Rick and Morty. <laughs> Rigor Mortimus. All right. I, I guess we're, I guess we're saying good night. Thank you for joining us on the spicy heated chat. I'm not going to lie. Rick and Morty is currently at its peak. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that recently. I need to move that chat back before. I um, that. yeah, season five and current season, uh, peak Rick and Morty. I I've heard like so many people say this that I I like trust. Um, it 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 took like a really jokey show that had very little serious plot development and actually gave it plot development. I disagree for the fact that peak Rick and Morty is actually good, and peak Naruto was mid. Do not. In that, like that the word is banned. That word is banned. No, in the act. What? What's I that? heard thank you. What is thank you? Oh, that must have mean we got like something. What do we get? What? Which number went up? Which funny number went up? I don't know. Why are you on that mod view? You should be on your creator dashboard. Okie dokie. Uh, stream manager. I can't believe I didn't know that existed, though. Rasnarak resubscribed oh, yeah, at a tier reset. one. Thank you. The funny Dylan number. <laughs> Thank you. You got... You, hey, you got over half of a cinnamon bun now. When a year comes around, you get a full bun. Nice. Um, I, I was using mid in its literal term, in the fact that it is only... In the middle, I I do I do not accept that uh, that word as criticism because it it means nothing. It's just a redundant way of saying I don't like it. No, I'm not. I'm using it in its general in its actual correct form, not in the like. Are you say I'm saying mid is bad. Mid it was mid at peak. It is only okay. Do you think? Are you saying it's a synonym for mediocre? That's how people use it currently. Yes, but I was using mid in the fact that like it's actually just average at peak average i feel like the yeah, high points but... of naruto were really good it's just like i feel like it peaked early it like all the good stuff was in part one most of r and l rick and morty is better than most of naruto oh absolutely i feel like um I, I... okay actual naruto did indeed peak at the chunin exams 
I like the Kimimaru fight a lot. But I think Shippuden has higher peaks than original Naruto. Really? Yeah, the pain arc is goaded. You know what? You're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, that whole part was amazing. The it, fact it's... that pain did not get hands actually made me upset. But then he revived everyone, it's, and I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. It's just the war arc, like, just crashed the show. Well, it it's, like, overly political for, like, the first half, and then the second half are all really hype fights that we've been waiting for that all get, like, broken apart by, like, oh, now I'm this person, and now I'm this person, and, like, I didn't fucking care about that. Like, the show would have been so much better if they just fought Madara and not Kaguya. I, I, I... I, I disagree. I think Kaguya was an interesting fight, but I know I'm in the minority on that. But I, if, I think if it's Madara just, just had all of Kaguya's abilities, like I think I would have appreciated. I that just don't more. think he's like interesting enough as a character to be the final boss. But like, also, I feel like like well, I guess he, I guess Kaguya wasn't even the final boss. I feel like if they built her up more though, then I would have appreciated. But her just being thrown there randomly at the end and being like, oh, now he's that, now he's her, because he fused with Zetsu. Yeah, but like I don't, I don't see how that's a bad thing. I just because that was like the the whole plan was he was manipulated. Like he he fell for it. He he got debated. Yeah, yeah. Like she feels like an ass pull where it's like they just needed a power up. Whereas like I feel like if the if the actual show up up to that point had built on who this Kaguya lady was, I would have appreciated it a lot more. But the fact that it was just like a fucking left turn out of nowhere like, into a fucking cornfield, and then this lady was here, it's like, why? Like, that's how I feel about, like, um, what's the drill? The drill? Yeah. Uh, Gurren Lagan. Yeah, like, the fact that she just turns into a giant space lady is just a fucking left turn in the middle of a field. I, I, I do agree like, it could have been set up way better. Like, I, I, I think, like, they should have... Because they, they never go back into the history. Like, they go to, like, they mention the Sage of the Six Paths, and that's, like, one step removed from her, and they should have gone a little bit further and, like, talked about her yeah. more. Like, that's one of my big issues with a lot of anime, is that, yeah, there's no hints or anything. Like, it doesn't feel like a reveal. It feels like a, why the fuck did we just turn into this cornfield? Here's the th I'm not talking about, like, the reveal, though. I think, like, thematically, her existing makes sense. And it makes the lore make sense. But I agree, like, it does come out of fucking nowhere and that's an issue. Yeah, I mean, like, she's cool. Like, the I don't understand exactly how Zetsu plus Madara makes her, but... I can explain that, but I don't I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to do it. <laughs> it. It's too... Um, But, yeah, I, I just feel like in order for things like that, for me to care about them, there has to be, like, a setup and a reveal and, like... The fact that it is just thrown at you out of fucking nowhere makes me be like, oh, I don't care now. I, I, I will 100% agree the setup is bad. I just don't think that means it's all bad. Yeah, I just, I if there is no setup, I struggle to care. I, I, I get that. I mm. That's a good way to put it, is it doesn't have a lot of payoff. Like Yeah, if... One of the one of the weird things about Naruto that I realized like way later is that they talk about all this stuff like ancient legend and history, and then it's like, well, it was you know the first Hokage when this happened, and then you realize that was like three generations ago. Like nothing in like all these legends and history and like myths they're talking about happened like no more than three hundred years ago. Like this is a very yeah. short period. This is like a very new world. Oh yeah, like I like one thing I like about Naruto is that they do a good job of showing you which era you're in based on like the wall of faces. Yeah. However, they don't do a good enough job explaining how many actual years that is because a lot of the characters look the same Plus, from like the second face to all the way until they don't like look Naruto's the face is there. Well, no, I'm not saying like the the faces on the wall, but like you can see Kakashi as an adult with like seven different faces on the wall. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, like the timeline doesn't really... Looks the... like the third Hokage served twice. Yeah, that gets a little confusing, too. But that's just because Naruto's dad died. Oops. Like... Forgot his name. I, I've, I've also been told that, like, it's just way better if you read the manga, too. I'm starting to think that manga's just better than anime. I think Ian's been ahead of us on this train for a long time. I recognize that reading manga is, like... You're going to get a more authentic experience. You're going to get what the author intended. I just, like, enjoy watching anime more. In like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making a sacrifice on pacing and story 
<laughs> Ian have been spitten. I I I'm I'm making I know it's a sacrifice. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's a book being adapted to a movie. Almost. Like all yeah. of the pacing problems, I well, from what I understand, what I've heard, all of the pacing problems in Naruto and One Piece come from like the adaption for the most part. I heard I've heard that the the war arc drags in Naruto even in the manga though specifically, but I've heard the rest of it's fine. Besides that, I think that arc's just bad. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. It's mid, in the actual sense of mid. It's only okay. It's average. The technology in Naruto is what always threw me off, because, like, I always thought it was, like, m like medieval, like, ninja technology, and then they just cut to, like, Orochimaru in, like, a full, like, operating room with, like, all the computers and stuff. And then I, like, look, and I realize, holy shit, there's been power wires running throughout the village this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cut to Orochimaru. <laughs> Which brings us to our sponsor for today's episode, Orochimaru. DoorDash. <laughs> Not actually sponsored. Anyways, have a great night, people. Yeah, we're done with. Naruto I would like time. to go use the restroom. I got a pee real bad too. Um, don't watch Naruto. Do watch One Piece. Absolutely watch Better Call Saul. Maybe read Naruto. Absolutely watch Breaking Bad. Um. We talked about Demon Slayer. Definitely listen, uh, not listen, sorry, watch, read, however you would like. It's a good ass show. If I told you that, uh, if I told you that Nico Robin was in Better Call Saul, would you watch it? Be lying. <laughs> <laughs> definitely watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Definitely. <laughs> Demon Slayer's anime is good. Uh, here's a hot take that only Ian will agree with. Are you ready? Sure. If Black Clover was animated by UFO Table like Demon Slayer is, it would be more hype than Demon Slayer ever could be. <clears throat> Thank you. This has been my hot take. I I am not writing off Black Clover. It is something I'm interested in. <laughs> like. Thank you. I really don't like the aesthetic of it. Really? I really don't like the character designs at all. I see them Agreed. and I'm like, ugh. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I love like all the characters. I I'm I'm sure it's good, but like that that is putting me off a little bit. You should have interest in the Breaking Bad world. You should find interest in it. Meet Kim Wexler <laughs> Look, and tell me you still have you zero have interest in Breaking Bad world. Until you've met Kim Wexler. I got killed by Kim Wexler yesterday in Splatoon. Really? That's yeah. funny. And I'm thinking of changing my handle in that game to Ermin Trout, but capitalizing Trout. Nice. Brian Cranston. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a, a great actor. actor. He's and, a good actor, but so is like every other actor in the show. Yeah. Yeah, literally everyone does a, such a good job. I will say the worst part about Breaking Bad is Skylar. Uh, she's everything she does it makes sense. She's still a really uncomfortable character. Like her character actually infuriates me in many but many she's levels. She's uncomfortable for a reason. Well, yeah, her whole life is falling apart. You're 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 not like saying she's a bad character. You're just saying it's like difficult watching her. Yeah, I hate watching her when she's on screen. I'm like, fuck, please get this over with. Yeah, okay, I understand. You, what? It's like, it's like Minetta? Minetta. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Skyler is like Minetta. No, I'm just kidding. I have no <laughs> idea. You can is be Minetta. Well written. I don't think I, those are two different people. If but... there's something I don't know. He just sucks. As far as I know. Yo, that's biphobic. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What? Mineta's bi. What? It's canon. He also falls in love with Deku. Spoilers. My bad. What? Yeah. Yes, Mineta is the grape guy. Everyone hates is him. Do real? not worry. I'm sorry. I just spoiled a big plot point in though? My Hero Academia. I do apologize. Is, no, you're like not sure. I'm not memeing. I am not memeing. It... Uh, um, they saw the success of Black Clover and how everyone was obsessed with the world's buffest 16 year old and My Hero Academia said we're gonna do that too and everyone becomes in love with Deku that part is more of a joke I'm that like regardless I'm astonished it's I'm... half a joke because the part about Black Clover is not a joke it is true everyone... like, is it Asta that everyone loves everyone loves Asta the world's buffest Asta. 16 year old by the way, everyone, read Black Clover. You can watch it if you want to. I haven't watched it, but reading it was great. I always get really, like, 
And no, we got we gotta fucking piss. Good night. We, we gotta end. Good night. Enough anime. Open wide. Oh, did they hear that? Yeah. Nice.